everyone and welcome to our Early Years Induction video. We're so excited that you've chosen Alpha Valley Schools and we can't wait to meet you and your children and welcome them into our school. The purpose of this video is to give you some of the essential information that you need before September and before your children starting school. So I'm going to introduce you to the teams. My name is Ali Lockwood, I'm Head of Schools for Alpha Valley Schools and I work closely with Early Years currently as Early Years Lead. A warm welcome to children, parents and carers joining the school in September. My name is Jill Rose Blade and I'm the Executive Head Teacher of Alva Valley Schools. It is my role to make sure that your children get a flying start to their school career and that will progress as we go through the Alva Valley Schools. As a previous early years leader and teacher, I know the importance of children feeling safe having fun with their learning and being excited and motivated. As parents, you are the children's first educators and will bring a wealth of understanding about how your child learns, what they like, what feels tricky and maybe what they are unsure of. It may be what makes them giggle too. Working as partners with the school, we can help your child be successful. Some children may be raring to go for Septembers and others at this time of year may be uncertain about things and that is okay. The Early Years team have a wealth of experience and time to listen to your thoughts so we can make your time here positive. One of my favourite jobs in the school is that of Forest School Leader and along with Mr Cook in Kingfisher's class all the children in Year R have the amazing opportunity to discover, be enthralled by and learn in the woods. It's super exciting and I can't wait to meet you all. Hello, I'm Lisa Petty, I'm one of the teachers in Year R and I am in Owls class. Hi, I'm Miss Graham and I'm the Early Years Assistant in the Owls class. Hi, my name's Gary Cook and I'm one of the teachers in Reception and I'm in Kingfisher's class. Hello, I'm Miss Halls and I'm the Early Years Assistant in Kingfisher's class. Our aim here at Alva Valley Schools is that we see all children as individuals and we educate the whole child. We always want to make the learning really irresistible and we'll tell you more about that later. At Alva Valley Schools, we help children to develop positive, strong learning behaviours. We do this through the six strands. Those six strands are like our values at school. So they are respect, boundaries, focus, self-regulation, resilience and independence. We help children develop these by turning them into simple I can statements which we use in the classroom in our day-to-day -day life. So we talk to children about what respect means when you're four and five, what that looks like in action. As we share these and talk about them with the children, they really do understand them and it helps them to develop positive learning behaviours in school. A key to success at Alva Valley Schools is for us to work really closely in partnership with yourselves, with our parents and carers. You know your children, you know what makes them tick, you know what they love to do, you know how they learn best. And by working with you to find that out, and by um, working with you to share what we're doing in school so that you can build on that at home, children get a really good start to their learning in school. So today, we're going to talk about what to expect when your child first starts school, what to expect in the early days. We're going to explain a little bit about the Early Years Foundation Stage Curriculum, what that means, what it looks like in practice in Alpha Valley Schools, we're going to talk you through a typical day so that you understand the routines and the pattern that will happen each day. We're going to talk a little bit about lunch times and the options there. We're also going to um, talk about people that help us to support your children in school and explain some of those people and also do a few introductions. We're going to also explain a little bit about uniform and equipment that children will need as they start school. We're going to talk about the induction arrangements. Now, they're subject to change. We've got a plan A and a plan B, but all will be explained. We're also going to talk about how you can help support your child to have the best start to school. What kinds of things you could be doing at home, even now, to get them used to the idea of coming to school. Um, so that when they do start school, that they can do so really confidently. 
we're going to explain what to do if you have any further questions. Usually in our meetings, we give you that opportunity to talk to us there and then face to face. But at this time where we can't do that at the moment, we're going to explain all the different options that you have to contact us because we really would like to hear from you, hear any questions, any worries, any concerns, and actually just to meet you, even if it's over the phone or in another way. So I hope you enjoy watching the meeting and um, see you soon. So in the early days, we are going to provide your children with lots of opportunities to get to know us, to get to know their environment and our daily routine. We're planning to do this through small groups. We will use observational assessments. What does that mean? That basically means we are going to watch, play, listen, observe um, your children in activities throughout the day, um, in their play, and that lets us know where they're up to in their learning. It gives us a really big, clear picture of where they are in their learning and how we can then plan our next steps to help move them on. The Early Years curriculum is made up of seven areas of learning. Communication and language, physical development, personal, social and emotional development, literacy, mathematics, understanding the world, which includes history, geography, science and technology, and expressive arts and design. We'll need to observe, are your children willing to have a go at activities? Are they involved and concentrating during tasks? Do they have their own ideas? Do they choose for themselves ways to do things? Do they find new ways of doing things? Very importantly, do they enjoy achieving what they set out to do? So Mr Cook has just told us all about the Early Years Foundation Stage curriculum and the different elements and areas of learning that make that up. And he's also explained a little bit about those characteristics of effective learning um, that are so important for children to have um, to enable them to explore and learn. I'm going to talk about the approach at Alva Valley Schools, what we do with that curriculum to bring the learning to life for your children. The approach to curriculum design at Alva Valley Schools is really creative. We have a really creative curriculum based on what we know about your children, what their interests are and based on our topics. We follow the principles of child development, learning through play and we have a really good balance of child initiated learning small group learning and adult directive learning. One of our favourite things about curriculum design this year has been hooks into books. So at the start of any new book that we're going to be introducing the children to, we always think about what is the hook in? And on the screen you're going to see a few examples of some of our hooks that we've had into books this year. These hooks into books might be a set of footprints. They might be things hidden in the woodland, which gives us clues about what those books could be. And then we take the children on a learning journey um, around those themes and ideas, and it absolutely works. The children are so engaged in their learning and so excited. In Year R, we do daily phonics sessions. Now, phonics, quite simply, is the sounds which letters make. These sessions will help the children to read and write. We know that you really want to support your children and parental involvement is key. Hashtag, D work makes the dream work. We find if you do a little and little bit and often, it goes a long, long way. Maybe on your way home from school or your way to school, you can point out letters and words on signs. We'll be holding a phonics workshop in the autumn term, so don't panic if you don't know what phonics is. We will explain it all and make it very clear to you. Um, and we will definitely give you more information on how you can support your children. Let's talk about reading. In school, we teach children the skills that they need to learn to read. Miss Petty has already mentioned phonics. Now we teach the skills in school and we do some practice in school but we really need your help to really help children to embed those skills by daily practice. This is absolutely key. I've got some examples of books that we use that I'm going to talk through. The first books that we send home with children are books like this. 
Now, as you can see, they don't have any words, but these books are a vital stage of learning to read because with these ch books, children talk about what they can see, what's happening in the picture, and we encourage them to tell their own story, speaking in sentences, and that's a really important skill that children need to have. Then we start our phonics sessions in school and we'll have that workshop so you'll know exactly what you can do to help support your child at home. Once children have started learning their sounds, we will be able to send home books like this. Now these books will be focused around a sound that the children are learning and they will be able to look at the picture and spot the words that begin with the j, j. So jewellery, jumper. They'll still be able to tell a story about the picture, but this is all about them hearing the sounds in the words. Really important step. Once children recognise some sounds and start to blend those sounds together to read words, then we will start sending home books with words in. Now at the beginning, they just have a few words in, but children will sound out the words s, i, t, sit, and read the book. Alongside the reading, using their phonemes, they will also have teddy words to practice at home as well. And these are some of the words that it's, re it's impossible, it's tricky to sound out. So the children will learn to recognise those words by sight. As children become more and more confident with their daily practice at school and at home, they will move on to more complex texts. And by the end of the year, they'll be reading books with full sentences, they'll recognise lots of the words and they'll sound out the words that they don't know. The practice really is key. If you read with your child just once a week, this is how many books you'll have read by the end of the year. But if you read with your child every single day, oh, you can see the difference. Reading is key to opening up the whole of the curriculum in school. So we really do encourage you to support your child by reading every single day. Now for the children that read regularly in school, we have a um, celebration system. So we have reading champions and the children that read at least four times a week get to put their name with a star on the window and they're very excited about doing that. And as well as reading and learning the skills and practicing reading at home, we also really encourage children to read widely and to read for pleasure. You'll have already heard about how we approach curriculum and our hooks into books and how we use some of our favourite stories that are around me to engage children in books. But most importantly, bedtime stories, taking home their book from the library and sharing it with a parent at home is absolutely key. We want our children to love reading and we want them to curl up with a book and escape into lots of different worlds with those books. I'm going to tell you a little bit about um, our typical day, although what is a typical day in year R? No two days are ever the same and that's the great fun of being in year R. Here's our typical day um, and the children will come in in the morning and they will have morning jobs set out for them. jobs are all done and dusted and register's been taken we will then move into phonics and on to the rest of the day after phonics we always have a short physical development session such as flippy flappers or do disco to allow children to develop the muscles and control they need ready for writing you can see examples of these sessions on the school youtube channel they are short and lots of fun this is followed by a short english session where we share stories, develop speaking and listening skills, and as the year goes on, reading and writing skills. Before moving on to our first child initiated session of the day, where children have the opportunity to direct their own learning through play as they choose. At this time, the adult's role is one of facilitator. They observe play, sometimes playing alongside, maybe dropping an idea or a question in or a suggestion, 
They may add some resources based on what they observe, either in the moment or in the next session. They may model language or skills in order to support children in the next steps in their learning across all of the areas of learning. During this child initiated session in the morning, school milk and a daily snack of fruit is also offered. After a tidy up, we move on to a daily math session, which is very practical and active. And then it's lunchtime. For lunch, children have the option of a hot school meal, or they can bring in a packed lunch if you prefer. In the infant school, school meals are free. They are nutritionally balanced, and there's always a red meat option and a green vegetarian option. The meals are cooked on site by our school cook daily. Menus with photos are available online on the school website and from the office so that you can help your child to select the meal that they might prefer. After lunch we have another session of child initiated learning and of course we have daily story sessions as well as singing lots of songs and rhymes together. During the week, children will take part in a PE session and they will visit the school library and lots, lots more. Come with me, let's have a look at our wonderful woodland at Alpha Valley. Alpha Valley is a forest school, but what is forest school? You could say it's a classroom without walls. We have two fully qualified forest school leaders, of which I am one of them. We at Alpha Valley are fortunate to have our own woodland environment to explore and discover the wonder of nature, develop a respect for it, to learn skills that will develop confidence and self-esteem. Your children will have regular forest school sessions on our exciting Forest Fridays. To know more about Alva Valley Forest School, look up on our website where there's a leaflet that will give you all the information that you will need. Now we'd like to introduce you to some of the people that help us in school. Hello, my name is Kate Russell. I am the SENCO, which is a special educational needs coordinator here at Alva Valley School. I help to support and identify any child who may be experiencing difficulties with their learning. I liaise with lots of outside agencies, including the health visitor, speech and language therapists, school nursing team, to name a few. If your child is already working with these agencies, please let me or one of the team know so we can liaise with them and they can have a really smooth transition into school. If we feel we need to seek advice from an outside agency, we would always talk to you first. If you have any concerns regarding your child or any family history that you would like to share with us, please do not hesitate to get in touch with me or one of the team. If you would like any further information regarding our SEM provision here at Alva Valley, please take a look at our SEN information report and policy, which is all available to look at on the website. Hello everyone, my name is Sarah Kitcher and I'm the Deputy SENCO at Alva Valley Schools. I particularly work to monitor the provision for children with special educational needs within the classroom. So this might be looking at their learning environment, the resources or the support that's in place and ensuring that it's tailored to children's individual needs. As well as this, I work very closely with teachers and with the pupils themselves to help them to make the progress they're capable of by removing any barriers to learning. I also have another role in school. My other role in school is that I am the behaviour and pastoral lead. And we have a team of staff available to help your child adjust both socially and emotionally. We recognise here at Alva Valley Schools that children learn better and are much happier if their emotional needs are addressed. 
Our pastoral team offer emotional and developmental support in a variety of ways. And one of those is that we run an intervention called Thrive. Thrive is fantastic because it promotes positive mental health and emotional and social well-being. This helps children to become more emotionally resilient and be able to progress and engage with both life and learning. It's also excellent for addressing any troubling behaviours and it really does provide a firm foundation for academic attainment. If we feel that your child might benefit from additional support, then we might suggest making an individual pupil referral to an outside agency, maybe CAMS or PBS. So CAMS stands for Child and Adolescent Mental Health Services, and it's an NHS service that assesses and treats young people with emotional, behavioural or mental health difficulties. A referral to this service might lead to an assessment of your child's needs by a mental health professional. PBS or Primary Behaviour Support is an outreach service who provide early targeted support in close correspondence with schools. Again, they'll assess a child's needs but relating to behaviour and emotional well-being and they can provide practical advice and support to both teachers and families. This can then be used in the classroom but also at home to support your child. Hi, I'm Annie Crawford Flanagan, the Attendance Officer here at Alvar Valley School. Each morning you'll see me outside meeting and greeting and welcoming the children and the parents into school. The school day and the infants starts at 8.45am. We encourage all families to arrive just before this time as the doors open promptly at 8.45 and close at 8.50. If your child is ill, we ask you to call the school office each day of the day of absence before 8.30. There is more information available about attendance on our website at Alva Valley Schools and I look forward to seeing you all in September. Hi, I'm Claire Chapman, I'm Chair of Governors. I'm also a parent of two children at Alva Valley Schools. Um, I wanted to give you a bit of insight into what the Governors do. We are here to support the school and the staff in terms of the strategic direction of the school. We also um, try to attend events as much as possible, so you will see different members of the governing body at different events. If you wanted to find out more about us, there is a section on the website so you can see all the different governors. We are all linked into different subject areas and also different parts of the school. So if there's something that you're particularly interested in, there will be a link governor that you can speak to. Um, but we hope that you have a really good uh, introduction to the school and I'm sure your children are going to enjoy the year up. Would you like to come and meet our cook? Come on, let's go and see if she's busy. Full details about our school uniform, as pictured here, are available in your starting school booklet and on the school website. Children in Year R will also need a pair of Wellington boots and a coat suitable for the season because we access our outside areas regularly. They will also need to wear a pair of black school shoes, no boots or trainers please. And please, please remember to name all of your child's belongings. It's very tricky sorting out whose jumper is whose if they are not labelled. Every year parents always ask us what they can do to help their child get ready for starting school and we've got some top tips to share with you now, some ideas that we've found useful in the past and there's also lots more ideas on our school website that you can have a look at. So my first top tip is to play games with your child. It's brilliant for them to be playing games, taking turns, learning to share and at this time where they're not in preschool or over the summer holidays where there's a gap between them being in preschool, it's really important for them to keep up those turn taking and sharing skills that they will have been developing already. You know, it's great to play games, it's really exciting when you win, but actually children need to also learn to manage those big feelings when you lose as well. My top tips for helping your children get ready for school. Number one, 
Help your children to become super independent. Encourage them to get dressed by themselves. I know how annoying and frustrating it must be to sit there watching them struggling to put on their socks or pull on their t-shirt. Bear with it, give them a little time, they will get there. And at the end of the day, it will help us out when we're getting changed for PE. My second top tip, Take time when you're sitting together as a family over meal times. Encourage your children to use knife and forks. Parents often ask us what they can do to prepare their children for learning in school. And we always say, talk to your children as much as possible. During things like shopping, uh, setting the table, anything helps. And also sharing stories every day. Stories and rhymes. Okay, let's take a look at the school website. So hopefully you've all found the school website by now, but it's quite simple, you can Google it or just go to alvavalleyschools.co.uk. Now, just for you, we have added a new page for the website because I know it's super frustrating not being able to come into school at the moment. So all of the information you need about starting school is going to be in one place. So if you come along to the parent tab and go to year R new entrance September 2020, this is the page that we've created to put all the information and ideas that we want to share with you so it's all in one place. And if you scroll down, you can see there's a bit of an introduction there. And then we've got a bit more information about our Alva Valley Adventurers Project. Now, we're really hoping that you would like to join us for this project. Now, every year at Alva Valley Schools, we always run a Songs and Rhymes project where we invite the children and the parents in and they come and sing nursery rhymes and we tell stories and we do a craft. This year, it's not going to be possible to do that in school, but what we're going to do instead is we're going to record some virtual sessions mm -hmm. and we are going to put them on the school website and on the school YouTube channel. So we're going to record five sessions. We've made up an extra yeah. one for you. And each week there's going to be a different theme. So we're going to drop in ideas about getting ready for school and a little bit more information about what it's like to come to school. But we're always going to sing songs, Mr Cook, tell stories and make a craft. So at various points in the session we'll ask you to pause so that you can, your child can go off and mix some things and then come back and we can join in with a song or a story all together. We're hoping that you're really going to love them and um, we're hoping that your children are going to love them too. Now you might be thinking, I haven't got lots of resources that I need for that, but don't worry. When you return your information um, application pack to school with your evidence of birth certificates, you will be given an Alva Valley green bag with all the resources you need for Alva Valley adventurers. So don't let your child loose with it. Wait for the sessions and on session one, bring out pack one and join in with the team. Hello guys, so one of our most popular events of our Alva Valley Adventurers sessions is our teddy bears picnic, but sadly, we don't think we can do that this year. It's very sad. It is very sad. But don't panic. We have decided we are going to go virtual. You can come and join us live on Facebook for your very own teddy bears picnic. Don't forget to bring your teddy and more details will follow soon. In September, the earliest team will spend the first few days carrying out home visits. We just love those. It's a great opportunity for us to visit and see children in their own environment. And it really does help the settling in process. When children do start school, they will do so in small groups. They will either be a gruffalo or a caterpillar. And they will either be doing some morning sessions or some afternoon sessions for the first couple of weeks. Full details about that are in your Alva Valley Adventurers packs. All children will be in school full time by the 23rd of September. Now that's about it from us today. When we have further information about what's possible in terms of visits and if it would be possible for children to actually come into school before September, then we will be in touch. But don't go, keep watching to the end of this presentation where there are some more photographs of our early years setting. 
and please, please stay in touch. You can email us at earlyyears at alphavalleyschools.co.uk. We so look forward to seeing all of your pictures, any emails, any questions. Can't wait to hear from you. Bye for now. Bye for now. Bye for now.